So I get questions all the time. Dr. Ghost, how do you make credits? Uh, Dr. Ghost, how do you make credits? Well, it's pretty simple, really. Like, making credits is pretty simple, and I'll show you guys how. So, first thing you want to look at, do you have premium time? Some of you may be wondering, what is premium time, Dr. Ghost? Well, look in the top of your screen, see that little 467 days icon? Yeah, that's how many days of premium time I have left on my account. I'm never going to run out of premium time. Some of you are going to have different premium times, I'm sure. Some of you might have a day. Some of you might have 30 days of premium time. Some of you, some of you might have no days of premium time. So, what premium time does? You guys are probably wondering. Well, if you click on it, it tells you what it does. So if you click, for example, Y or triangle on your controller and go over to the premium time, you can see in the bottom right, premium account benefits. Premium account boosts your progress, providing more resources for each battle. 50% extra credits per battle. And 50% more XP and commander XP per battle. There you go. That's one way to make extra credits. And the next way of making extra credits, keep in mind this all does stack, you need to play premium ships because premium ships, like for example my Z39B here, Premium ships, if we go to the overview section, I don't think it actually says exactly what it does, unfortunately. But, for example, my Tier 7 premium should have an overview thing, I hope. No? Really? Okay. Well, nonetheless, anyway, premium ships make more credits and XP as well. Okay? Just like premium time, premium ships, I believe, make up to 50% extra credits and XP as well. So there you go. That's how you earn credits. It's as simple as that. Play premium ships and use premium time. If you can find premium time in the store, try to get it. There's a lot of wargaming offers going around too where they give out free premium time as well. If you go to the in-game store, head on over to the game card and head on over to the Microsoft store or the PlayStation store. You can look down here in the add-ons and there's a lot of bundles. Like for example, the starter pack that I already got, this gives three days of premium account time. This also gives you premium account time. This bundle gives you premium. This bundle, this bundle, this bundle, this bundle, this bundle. You guys see where I'm going? All these bundles that cost money, or some of them are even free, do give extra premium time, okay? And the last thing I want to mention, what ships are best to make credits in? A lot of you guys are asking and screaming at me right now in the comments. Well, the best ships to make credits in are Tier 7 premium ships, by far. Tier 7 premium ships, like, for example, my Prince Eugen here, make the best credits in the game. They have the best ec economic... Uh, they, have the, they have the best economic bonuses in the game. Best service costs and best credit gains in the game. And when you have premium account time, and if it's a premium Tier 7, well, you're just making a shitload of money that way. Now, if you don't have a Tier 7 premium, well, then play your Tier 6 premiums. Tier 6 premiums also make a lot of credits as well. They don't make as much as Tier 7 premiums do, but they still make a lot of credits as well. Tier 6 premiums, like my Sharnhorst tier, make a lot of credits too. Also, Tier 5 premiums. If you don't have a Tier 6 or 7 premium, play your Tier 5 premiums. If you don't have a Tier 5 premium, play your Tier 4 premiums. However, keep in mind, once you start getting to Tier 3 premiums, you don't make a lot of credits, unfortunately. You can still, but you don't make as many. Now, one thing, too, to mention is Tier 8 premiums don't make much credits at all. Don't even try to. You would literally be better off playing a Tech 3 ship than playing a Tier 8 premium, okay? You could still make you could still make credits um, with Tier 8 premiums, don't get me wrong, but you're not going to make as much as you, as you would if you played a Tier 6 or 7 premium ship, okay? So, playing Tier 7 premiums, playing Tier 6 premiums, even doing well in Tier 5 or 4 premiums can make you some pretty good money. Also... If you don't have any premium ships, then what I recommend doing is playing a tier 4 or 5 tech tree ship, or even a tier 6 or 7 tech tree ship. Play ships you are very comfortable playing. Play lots and lots and lots of ships you're comfortable playing, because you'll also make more money that way. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's not just playing those ships that makes you money, you also need to do well in battle. Getting caps and getting XP and spotting people for your team is going to really help you get a lot of XP and also credits that way, and of course doing lots of damage and killing ships from full HP. There's a difference between doing lots of damage and actually getting somebody and doing a majority of the damage on one ship. Like for example, if I was to shoot out a full health destroyer 
and absolutely nuke him and nuke him for all of his HP, I would get all of the um, XP and credit bonus for killing that ship. But if I was to do a little bit of damage here on that ship, a little bit of damage here on that ship, a little bit of damage here on that ship, only about 20% of their HP um, off each one of them, I'm not going to make as much credits as I would for killing a full health destroyer, a full health battleship, or a full health cruiser. Believe it or not, you get the same amount of XP and credits for killing a full health DD and even a full health battleship. You don't make more credits for killing a carrier or a battleship or even a DD. You make the same. So what you want to be trying to doing in your battles, instead of trying to farm damage on everybody, you want to be actually focusing people down, doing 80 to 90, if not all the damage, 100% damage to that ship. You want to be trying to actually take away all their HP, because you'll get more credits that way. You'll make more money that way, okay? A lot of people don't understand that, is you actually want to try to do a majority of the damage to that ship's HP, because you make more credits and money for doing that. If someone yoinks the kill, they're not going to make any money, because you did a majority of the damage. Therefore, you will get a majority of the credits and XP, okay? So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Bit of a shorter video, but I just thought I would remind you guys and, and you know, how to make money in this game. I get questions about that all the time. Dr. Ghost, how do you make money in XP or how do you make credits in general? That's how you do it. So, anyway, nonetheless, have a fantastic rest of your days, everybody, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy as always.